My name's Guy Kestivan and I've been a professional mountain bike tester for nearly 25 years. And today I've been lucky enough to be uh, up here in Inner Leithen on the Specialised Stump Jumper Evo. So a totally new bike for 2021. I mean, obviously there is a Stump Jumper Evo already, but this is a completely fresh build. Uh, so you've got a new Fact 11M carbon mainframe and you've got a new rear end. Uh, travel is 160 mil front, 150 mil rear, but the big difference on this is the geometry in terms of just how adjustable it is. So up front, you've got three different options in the headset cup. You've got you know steeper, medium and slacker. And then at the rear, down on this horse, you know, the classic specialized FSR horse pivot there, you've got a high and a low option. And basically you just flip that front to rear, uh, it literally takes a couple of minutes, drop the wheel out, switch the little uh, chips there, and uh, that changes the BB height. So in the steepest, uh, highest setting, it's a 340 mil uh, bottom bracket with a 64.5 degree head tube. As it's set up here, which is with the slack cupping at the front, and the low BB setting, that's a 331 distance from uh, BB axle to ground and a 63 degree head angle, so super slacked out. Uh, this is the expert build, so you're getting a 36, a Fox 36 Performance Elite, which means you get a Grip 2 damper, so you've got low speed compression and high speed compression on there, and you've got low and high speed rebound as well on the base of the fork in this dustbin here. Uh, on the back, you've got a Box Evil uh, DPX2, so it's the uh, piggyback shock, and again, you've got three different compression settings there, and then you've got rebound on the far side there. So, fully adjustable rear shock. And I have to say, I mean, obviously, Specialized has been working with this uh, FSR kinematic for years, but the DPX2 for this year is so much better shock, they've really changed the uh, base valve on it so there's a load better high speed oil flow and the back end of this feels absolutely fantastic uh, you know set it up with benchmark sa sort of ballpark sag and it's been rock solid all day and you know, I haven't had to tweak it at all you got these super broad linkages on the back there you got this uh, what they call the Fu Manchu link there the uh, bolt straight onto the back of the shock and then you've got this really nice broad one-piece machined alloy linkage there the only difference with the s-works model is that that linkage is carbon fiber on the s-works otherwise exactly the same uh, fact 11 m carbon frame on the s-works that weighs in at 2750 and that's like a complete hardware weight so seat collar uh, shock in their axles all of that kind of thing and I can't imagine that you know a carbon linkage although it looks hella fancy is going to save a huge amount of weight so this expert here or even the comp you're getting a really really good top quality frame set uh, for you know a significantly cheaper price and also this year you can see it's got bottle cage standard and then you've got the SWAT compartment just pop open that there I'll try not to knock it off its stick there, you can see inside there, that all the, uh, get your tool stuff in there. And also for this year, there's actually room, whoa, try and do it without disturbing the bike. But yeah, there's actually uh, space for a uh, drinking bladder in there, uh, as well as all your tools and your pumps. So there's 15% more capacity in that this year. So proper amount of storage in the belly of this bike. And I have to say, having had the uh, Stump Jumper ST as a long-termer, on uh, MBUK for a while. I absolutely love that feature. I mean, carbon, the weights aren't often that different to uh, an alloy frame, but just so having a genuine advantage in all that storage in the down tube so you can properly ride pack free. I mean, I haven't filled it up because I'm only on it for the day and I'd end up forgetting my pump and stuff like that. Plus we had the luxury of guides with us so we didn't need to carry as much, but having that storage is just, oh, I, I bloody loved it. And yeah, I've said, I think I've said enough, yeah. It was great, it just meant you were never without all the things that you thought you had with you. Whereas if it's in a bum bag or whatever, it's too easy to take the mini tool out uh, when you're in the workshop. So yeah, I'm a massive fan of SWAT, just to, so it's great to see that there. And then you've got the little EMT uh, multi-tool on the back there anyway, so you're getting out Allen Keys package with it. While we're down here, you can see it's got a chain guide on there, a standard, and it's got ISCG mounts. Relatively rare thing these days, but when you've got a 63 degree head angle, you know, it's great that you're getting that facility to have a proper stabilized uh, chain run on there. 
uh, out the back the expert gets x01 sram eagle so you've got 1052 uh cassette set up on the rear there and as you can see on the back nice big 200 mil rotors with a code caliper so that's the big proper downhill stoppers on there and up front 200 mil rotor with code on there as well and it's the rs so you're getting the proper little swing link for extra bit of touchy feeliness in the uh, lever feel uh, i mean you're not getting uh, bike point adjust or anything like that but you from a functional point of view really really good set of brakes uh, deity grips uh, saw them first on the status i think that's a great upgrade i mean the uh, to be fair the specialized grips were fine and they were one of the first people to uh, go with an inside lock so there's nothing you know it's nice and soft on the outside on the specialized grips but great to see deity on here you know really nice sort of multi mushroom grip on there and then it's an 800 mil wide bar and then 55 mil stem so you could definitely go shorter in the stem if you want uh, but it's a short offset fork anyway so i have to say it didn't feel like an issue when i was riding it today uh, short like i say short offset fork so that's nice and agile feels really responsive and also of course it increases the wheelbase so the bike is even more stable on the trail uh, you've got specialized own remote lever there for this x-fusion manic dropper post i mean these are becoming pretty much ubiquitous really super i mean the original x-fusion posts were dreadful but these are so reliable they really have learned their lessons so always happy to see those on a bike uh, specialized body geometry bridge saddle again proper pedaling saddle you know but feels great on the descents uh, you know cutaway center and then nice broad back end for plenty of support but you know this is a proper daily driver bike still you know this is a bike that's going to get ridden equally as much with the saddle up climbing up you know i've been lucky to have up this today but the short bits of pedaling it feels super super supple it actually feels like it's got a trunnion shock in there so i'm guessing the alignments all the way through are fantastic because it just feels super buttery supple and like i say this dpx2 is so different to previous models it's a great little shock now and uh yeah complete bike weights because with that lightweight carbon frame uh this S expert weighs in at 1442 whereas the uh, s works were weighs in at 1385 and that's in a size s4 which is equivalent to a large because you now have six different sizes across all the stump jumper models you've got s1 oh guess guess what the sizes are s4 size 4 uh, s1 to s6 so but as you can see super short seed tube length on there I and mean, it was a kink so you can't quite see what's going on uh but yeah that's only a 430 mil from top to bottom there so i've got plenty of posts showing on there and it'd be no problem for me to size up to an even longer reach uh but as it is i mean specialized quote 475 or 480 depending where you've got the uh bb height set because obviously that changes the angles a bit we actually measured it at just over 480 in terms of the actual frame design it's the same asymmetric strut layout i mean i'll just bring it around here so you can see you know you've got that big strut sweeping across there on that side and then it's fully open on this side so really easy to get to the rebound adjuster on there and you know let's just have a look a bit more at the detail on the linkages there really broad main pivot there and it's a threaded bb so no concerns about durability there you've got a big old sump guard underneath as you can see there's room for a full-size bottle in there with no drama if your swat isn't enough you could easily strap some more gear up in there and you know internal as you'd expect really nice neat internal cable routing throughout and then moving around to this side again you've got this really thick uh chain uh bumper on there at top and bottom so plenty of protection on there and even with all that on you're still looking at that 2750 frame weight on the uh, s works model so you know there's plenty going on even with you know the door and everything for the swat stuff adding weight it's still a seriously lightweight chassis and if you watch the live ride video which i would definitely suggest you do you'll see it's a properly stiff tracking but really dynamic still and poppy bike because 438 mil chainstays still pretty lively you know it's not super long it's only in 29 uh you can make it mullet there is a limited mullet edition which i'll get onto in a second but that needs a different linkage on the back to make that work and the wheels themselves 30 mil roval rims uh roval hubs had no problem with those tires not as convinced i mean we'd have already been leaning towards saying you know upgrade the tires if you can but if you're riding in the damp at all we have had <laughs> There's a couple of trails we've been riding today that was a bit slicker, a bit stonier. 
and they were they were yeah borderline lethal i have to say so i definitely if you're lucky enough to ride in dry country you'll wonder what i'm going on about you'll probably be fine especially if you run the pressures fairly high if you're riding in damp uh, changeable intermediate conditions then definitely put a fresh pair of tires on the budget and if you're buying it from a dealer you know maybe even ask to include that in the purchase price uh, you know and just give them back their tires before you've used them yeah, no, I am going to say that, yeah. I mean, the performance of this bike has been absolutely stellar all the way through testing. I mean, like I say, watch the live ride view. Uh, there's loads of me pinning down trails that are probably way beyond... Well, there's loads... Not pinning, there's loads of uh, footage of me uh, fighting my way down trails that are way beyond my normal pay grade. And then just... and this, But this bike is super, super helpful, apart from the tyres. So, like I say, make sure you watch the live ride view to get a good impression of how this bike rides and keep your eyes peeled for roughly a week from now. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please click the subscribe button if you aren't already a subscriber. Click the notifications. Uh, if you'd really like to help support the channel long term, please consider joining these fantastic folk on Patreon whose names are scrolling up at the moment. Uh, they pay a small monthly pledge to sort of pay for my time to make unsponsored videos like this specialized haven't contributed at all towards the filming of this video i mean bless them they've put me up in the very splendid glentress hotel where murray has looked after us fantastically they've laid on adrenaline uplift for us which has been brilliant those guys have been superb their guides have shown us all the best trails for showcasing this bike uh today so massive thanks to specialized from that point of view and for inviting me along as well but, you know, it's it's the guys on Patreon who've, uh, you know, funded this video, essentially. So, big thanks to them. And if you like what I'm doing with the channel, please consider joining them on Patreon. But, apart from that, I've been Guy Kestevan on Guy Kez TV, talking about the brand new Specialized Stump Jumper Evo Expert. And this bike here is the Stump Jumper Evo Limited, which takes the place of the Pro model. So goes expert which is what i was riding then the limited and then the uh, s-works model and as you can see properly different bike you've got 27.5 inch rear wheel so it's a mullet set up on the back you've got a different linkage in there to uh, make the mullet back end work properly i mean the actual mainframe the actual frame is still exactly the same still a, a carbon 11m frame set and then you've got a rock shock super deluxe coil shock in there and a rock shock seb so the big 38 mil fork up front there i mean 38 mil stanchion fork with 160 mil of travel up front there so same frame but with this burlier kind of more playful more sort of bike part build but still you know a surprisingly light bike even with all that hardware on it and then you've got 200 mil rotor at the rear and a 200 mil rotor at the front there so maximum stopping power from those code rs brakes and you've got some uh, you know other little features on there like the deity stem and a uh, one uh, dropper post on the back there and this little uh, bash guard underneath the uh, mrp chain guard there so just a bit more sort of heavily armored bike park suitable build of that uh, stump dumper evo frame